Hello YouTube! Um, I just wanted to celebrate a little bit because I just reached 50 subscribers. Um, actually today it'll be 51 subscribers. Um, but I want to thank everybody for subscribing and supporting me from this long on this channel. And being very awesome and very, like I said, supportive. Um, that's just, it's amazing that, uh, that there's that much subscribers, even though it's a very small portion in the world. Um, that's, that, that means a lot to me, um, as a person and as a YouTuber. Um, Skullgirdle just did her celebration of a hundred subscribers. So, I'm, the next video for the celebration of subscribers will be 100 subscribers, um, and I'm halfway there. So, thank you so much for the support, uh, thank you for discovering this channel, and uh, commenting in the comments, and liking these videos, and just being a presence on this channel, uh, and a friendly presence at that. So, I just wanted to thank you guys for that. And I also wanted to give a little bit of a life update. Um, you know, when I first came here to Florida, it was just kind of crazy because I was already not financially stable. I just came out of a really bad environment at my mom's house because everybody was fighting there. And it was really depressing for me, so I reached out to my dad. Uh, he flew me down to Florida. Uh, it's been like a long, you know amount of months since I've been here. It's been a long journey of trying to find a job. Um, I applied pretty much everywhere in Ohio and I also applied pretty much everywhere here too. Not everywhere, but a lot of places. Called a lot of places, got a lot of no, we're not hiring right now. So that was not fun. But I started out, you know, with a haunted house during the Halloween season, which is called Screamageddon, and I worked in a haunted house called Infected, which was all zombies. And that was a blast, but that did a toll on my voice, and my body was all in pain. Uh, Halloween in general this year was absolutely amazing. And, like, I think the biggest highlight was the goth club that I got to go to and meet up with my friend, and that was, like, super fun. Um, I'm sad that it's over. But, um, you know, I, it took a, also a long time to find this other job. My aunt... I uh, had been pestering her boss uh, at this cleaners, and, you know, I got the job there, but unfortunately going into it, I knew that this guy was not a nice person, uh, and he fires people at the drop of the hat from just being, you know, a douche, and he fired me over a stack of hangers. He gave me hundreds and hundreds of hangers that were all stuck together that I had to sort out from smallest two largest and it took the whole entire day of Halloween and I still didn't get it finished so it irritated him and he fired me so I when I first got here as well I started this career center and they were basically like training me how to do proper things in work um, and like how like good work et ethic and etiquette and all that kind of stuff uh, and I had gotten the job at the cleaner, so I was like, they don't need to place me at a job, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, that lasted a little bit into November. I, it was like a week and a half, and I got fired. I actually heard it from my aunt. The guy wouldn't even face me and give my check or even tell me that I was fired. He had my aunt do it. So that just shows how lovely people are. But I called into the career center and I was like, hey, um, I'm out of a job now, can you guys help me? And they're like, most well, certainly. So I went down there and they talked to me and I got into JCPenney's. Um, I got an interview, basically I went in there uh, and I went up to the counter. This is an interesting thing that happened. I went up to the counter and this lady was Hispanic and she was very broken English and couldn't really understand what I was trying to tell her. And it irritated me, but I kept my patience and I didn't get rude with her. I just kept my patience and kept trying to ask her until she understood what I was trying to say. I went, went up to there and I was like, hello, my name is Tyler Green, blah, 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 blah. I got this resume and I was wondering if I could talk to a lady named Mary. She's one of the managers here. And she goes, oh, Mary. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll see if she's here. And she goes, oh, Mary's not here. And I was like, okay, well, can you get a manager and leave it with her? And she's like, Are you, you're here for interview. And I was like, I'm not here for interview. And she's like, go back there for your interview. 
uh, and it's two hallways down, and you gotta take a left or what have you, and I was like, okay, and I couldn't find it, and I was like, I asked another coworker or a lady that was like, you know, putting like jewelry on a rack, and she was like, I don't work at JCPenney's, I'm just loading jewelry here, that's my job. Um, but I would ask a manager, so I was about to ask a manager, and I was like, I'll, I'll just get on the phone with uh, the guy that I was talking to at the career center, and he was like, just go back up to the counter, tell her that you need to talk to a manager, and so you can leave your resume um, and your schedule with you, with, with a manager. And she, I told her that, and she's like, okay, I'll leave them on the desk. And she, like, messaged, she was, like, talking to somebody on the walkie-talkie. She was like, okay, that's all set now, sir. So I walked out the door thinking everything was done and I didn't have to go back because she just told me that the manager I was supposed to meet up with, Mary, was not there. And she was going to give the papers to a manager to give to Mary. She still misunderstood me, so she came outside the door screaming at me, Sir, sir, you need to come back in here. You have an interview. And I'm like, you just told me I don't have an interview. And the interviewee that is there is not there today. And you were going to give the papers to a manager to give to her. And she goes, she just kind of scoffed at me and got smart with me and went back behind the counter. And she was also talking Spanish to a lady to a customer lady and not speaking very well English to me. So it was kind of hard to communicate with this lady. Like I felt bad, but I was irritated at the same time because she was not understanding what I was trying to say. Um, so I finally go back there and I was like, hi. Then this lady comes, this guy like directs me to the place where it's like interviewers or whatever, like the hallway where they have conference rooms and stuff. This lady comes out, and, I, and she's like, hello, are you Tyler Green? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, um, are you here for an interview? And I was like, well, I'm not here for an interview. I was trying to tell the lady that I wasn't here for an interview. I was just trying to give these papers, which is my resume and my cover letter, to a lady named Mary. And I just asked her if she can give it to a manager to give to Mary because um, because she said she was, Mary was not in. She's like, oh, well, I'm Mary. And I'm like, oh, so she was like, you, we can have you come in for a quick interview. And I was like, most certainly. So we could go in there. And I talked to her, and she was like, you pretty much got the job. Uh, we just have to do a job, j or a background check, which I'm sure I'll pass because I don't have any criminal records as far as, you know, that goes. And, you know, by Monday I should know. But I'm, I pretty much got the job. So things have gotten a lot better. JCPenney's pays a lot more than the dry cleaners job. It was just a shitty job. When I got to the dry cleaners, I had a normal thing to do, normal schedule to do. Like I would go in there, clock in, then I would sweep the whole entire like floor. Then I would mop the whole entire floor. Then I wiped down all the machines. Then I wiped down the bathrooms. Then I got the trash. Then I washed out the trash cans. Um, and then I did the sweeper in the main room behind the checkout. Um, and then I ran out of things to do and I would always ask him, is there anything more to do? And he would always give me a stupid excuse. No, we don't have anything for you. Do you just want to clock out? So I would always clock out early. So I didn't end up getting a good paycheck. Anyhow, I got 149, which was okay for what I did, but I should have got a lot more. But he didn't have anything to do. I'm pretty sure this man didn't even know why he hired me. Uh, and didn't even really give me a fair chance. He gave me just a week. Uh, so, yeah, it was not a fun experience. But I'm finally back on track. I can start studying my, you know, driver's thing. So I can get a car and get the ball rolling. So everything's starting to look up once more again. And we're going into November slash Christmas season uh, pretty soon, so I'm going to try to get some plans with that and maybe do some Christmas videos. I don't know, uh, because I'm thinking about going to Disney for Christmas with my sister, so I might do some vlogs on that, but that's just a little update on my life and a little update on my subscribers and a thank you to all the people that have subscribed and that supported me. Uh, until next time, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.